Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. You know you're a part of the grateful gang, gang, gang. And if you like budgeting as well, as well as following me on my journey to home ownership, then consider hitting the subscribe button. So let's get into today's video. It is going to be my last paycheck of April number, the paycheck number two for April, the last paycheck of April the close out of that paycheck. So let's get right into it. So we'll start in the beginning. We have 127.91 that was rolled over. So that remains the same. Then we have 13.1202 that was the same that was the money that we got paid okay so all of that remains the same then we have five hundred dollars that was taken out for i think the house let's see no we're not gonna open let's see five hundred dollars five hundred dollars was for the house savings so that cleared, all that cleared already. And then 202 was the zero out challenge. I don't know why it's not opening, but it was a zero out challenge. Let's see if we can do this without opening things. So, and we have $50, which is the house emergency fund. $50 and $20, which was for giving. So those all came out. And then we have $400 and $100. I can only take $400 at a time out of the ATM and I needed to take $500. So that was my ATM withdrawal of $500. The addition of that is the $100 that came out for the Humble Home Binder plus $240. That came out for the um what are these called? <laughs> Cash envelopes. And then I'm trying to get my calculator, you guys. So five hundred minus two forty minus one hundred one sixty. So I believe sixty dollars was for my make it rain challenge and a hundred dollars came out for the new sinking funds and that is the five hundred dollars and then eight ninety five was for chick-fil-a which i think we'd already see it was already there Notes, where are you? I'm just gonna say eating out. I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. I feel like really blah. Can y'all sense that? <laughs> I feel very blah right now. Okay, um, ooh, rain. And then the wireless bill was 74.33. So cell phone was 74.33. And these were my sinking funds, which should total a hundred dollars. So fifteen plus forty plus fifteen plus twenty plus ten. Ten, twenty, fifteen, twenty, right? Plus ten is a hundred dollars. So that clears my sinking funds of a hundred dollars. And after that, we had KFC for 948, eating out again. I think I'm a little down about this place. It was a town home that I wanted and it didn't work out. And I think I think I'm okay, but then I don't think I'm okay. You, know, you feel like you're okay, but you're not okay. 
Progressive Insurance is one twenty seven eighty three, but I shall live one twenty seven eighty three for car insurance. Nice one always comes in under. I always round up. I think it's one twenty seven eighty three, Tara. <laughs> Not 38. I tell you, I have mild dyslexia. I do believe that. Um, then we have Izeld. My sister money? Why did I? Oh, we went out to eat. And so I took some money out of the food or groceries or something. And then I gave her $10 because I still owed $10. So that's $10 um, for Zell. But it once again is what? Eating out. But y'all, if you live in the Atlanta area, there's this, and you like Thai food, even if you don't like Thai food, you should try it, <laughs> is this place called Tuk Tuk, it's delicious, all right, and then we have the Dollar Cherie for ten forty three, which I should have had my Chick-fil-A envelopes and my Dollar Tree envelopes with me, but I spent that because I was buying things for the project, which I still have not completed, I bought some stuff to create my own um, cash tray, as well as Probably bought snacks and stuff for work. Anyway, focus. 1042. <laughs> ah, 1042. Dollar Tree, baby. Oh, you guys. Dollar Tree no longer is like official for the Dollar Tree because they now have stuff for three and five dollars and other prices. It's in like one section of their store. The they got some cute stuff, but I'm like, usually Dollar Tree is my spot because everything is a dollar, like dollar slipping. <laughs> But not because they do have some cute stuff. Okay, y'all don't care, but let me move on. Etsy, ten fifty. What did I buy? Oh, I think I purchased some stuff from Angelica or Tracker's Corner for my new binder, and I love them. But that's like supporter sister. I really need to put my supporter sister back online. So, because well, that's where I buy things from. I think for next quarter, one of my main goals is going to be tracking because I write it here and stuff, but I need a better tracker, tracking system. Okay, I got paid a dollar, I wish, a penny for monthly interest. So we can add that up here. Uh, we'll just make it, you know, I'm going to do it the right way so I understand. We're going to add 0 0.01 for interest. And then, oh, we're, we, that didn't take us too long, y'all. Then we have. $20. Oh, so I transferred $20 over from my account. I don't know why it's not showing me anything, but I transferred $20 over from my zero out challenge. So I actually need to add $20 here again. Um, and that's going to sit there until it gets moved over to Robin Hood. So I added this one cent for interest and the $20 that I transferred over. Um, I moved $20 over so that I could move money into uh, my Robinhood account so that I can invest it. I might get some more doji because it has come back up or I might buy something like um, Capital One because I love them. So, well, maybe Fetch Rewards has something. I don't know, whatever. I only buy things that I know I love. And like, y'all don't even laugh at this. I don't even understand what I did with this hair right now. I, I Yeah, I was in the kitchen board board in the house and I'm in the house board. All right. So that looks like that was all of our transactions and we should have a balance of $33 and 21 cents left. Now it's Tuesday night and I'm assuming that my money is coming. What is this? What is this lard? <laughs> Why are we off? 36.41 minus 33.21. We're off by $3.20. Oh, that sounds familiar. $3.20 is usually what one of these are, HP Insta Ink or something. Did I mean, oh, bong, right there. <laughs> HP Insta Ink for $3.20. There we go. $3.20. I found that quick, y'all. I'm kind of proud of myself. So the balance is $33.21. $33.21. Um... Technically, only $20 should be left in there because that will come over. $33.21 minus $20. So we have $13.21 left. So this $13.21 is going to go straight 
what we get to do a transfer to my baby emergency fund because we know that's my next goal that I'm working on. If you did not see my um, new folder, if you did not see my video where I did show you my new binder that has all the good things and the trackers and y'all can't see nothing. That's the back of the thing. But it's got trackers. And I still haven't set up May. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about me doing the prop money situation into a cash envelope, into that folder, into that binder, if you think that's a good idea so we can keep track of, like, some fake physical money. Or if you're like, girl, no, you're fine, just showing it on the computer. Let me know down below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. I know I say it every, other, every video, and you're probably tired of it, but I'm never going to be tired of being grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And remember, y'all, it's faith over fear. But not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever. All right. Bye.